Well, hello, all my friends. Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you're joining us for the first time. My name is T and this is my channel, Crumpus Tea and Sewing. If you haven't done so already and you like the content of this channel, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get notifications of all my videos when I post them. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my review of the pixie dress and this is by Style Arc. And I made this dress in collaboration with the beautiful Natita of So Natural Dame. If you're not familiar with Natita or Natita's channel, I'll make sure that I put the link to her channel in my description box. So make sure you click on that link and go over and watch Natita's channel as well as this review. So more importantly, make sure you watch the review for this pixie dress. I love this pattern. Spoiler alert, <laughs> this is a wonderful pattern. There were some adjustments and things that I had to do and some alterations, but those alterations and adjustments were mostly because of my body type. And I'll get into all of that and give you all the details of the pattern as well as the alterations and adjustments that I have made. I'm gonna first start with the pattern. I'm gonna give you some details of the pattern and then also some of the features of the pattern. So this is a woven dress. So this is a dress meant for wovens and the suggested fabrics for this is for light, light to medium weight fabrics with some drape. So they encourage you to use fabrics like charmeuse, silk fabrics, uh, any kind of like slinky fabrics or like rayon, shally fabrics, those types of fabrics because you're supposed to get a drape with them. So the fabric that I actually chose for this project is a silky crepe type fabric. It has a soft crepe finish on the face of the fabric. So it doesn't have like the really strong bubble crepe texture, which I don't really like those types of crepes, but this is a soft textured crepe, which I really like. And it is on a black background and it has a uh, pink and, um, pink magenta and some burgundy uh, flowers within the print of the fabric. And you'll see what my dress looks like, of course, as I will be putting pictures throughout this video so that you can actually see what my dress turned out to look like. Okay, so let's talk about the details of the dress. So as I stated before, it's a woven dress pattern and the pattern features sleeves with a little flounce on the bottom of the sleeve. You also can put a flounce on the bottom of the dress. There's a keyhole opening in the back of the garment and you will be putting a loop and a button on the back of the garment as your closure. So because this is a loose fitting dress, as you can imagine, you just pull it overhead and that loop and that button is to just close up the back of the dress, but it's just holding the dress together. So it's not technically like a closure, but it's, it's more of holding that back neck facing together at the back so it doesn't flap around. So the, the pattern also has a front facing and a back facing. The front facing is um, cut out twice and the back facing is also cut out twice, but you're sewing the front facing together so that you can apply it to the neckline because the front of the dress is cut on fold. The back of the dress is cut twice because you need that, that opening back there. The only thing that I wish that this pattern had that it doesn't is pockets. <laughs> I think it would have been a really lovely dress uh, to have pockets, but I can see why they omitted the pockets since this is a dress that is designed for silky type fabrics. However, it still would have been really nice to have some pockets uh, for this dress. The dress, as you can see on the illustration of the pattern, it is supposed to be like a knee length dress. So once you add that flounce to the bottom of your dress, it's supposed to be a knee length dress. I found that before adding the flounce to the dress, it was very, very short to the point that when I was bending over, I could see everything. So I did a mock-up of the dress and I thought, okay, I definitely need to add length to this dress. So if you are someone who is, I would say about 5'3 or shorter, you might want to add anywhere between two and a half to maybe four yards of, not four yards, sorry, two and a half to four inches of length to your dress. Uh, if you don't want to have um, your dress rising up on your thigh, I found that without the flounce, it went well up above my thigh. With the flounce, it would have been somewhere around the mid thigh area. And I wanted my dress to actually look like 
what it appears on the illustration of the cover on the cover and so i decided to add that length and as you can see with my dress with the flounce on it it sits right there at my knee uh, belted you know i it raises up a little bit but when it's not belted and it's just loose it does hit like right around that knee area it's right where i want it to be and i really love this style in terms of alterations and adjustments i had to make quite a few now i talked to natita about this before making this video and she had said that the only thing that she really had to do with her alterations and adjustments is gray out from the hips uh, because this pattern is a straight silhouette and so if you have curves just keep in mind you might have to grade your pattern out for me I don't have any hips at all and so this pattern was good in that area for me because I just don't have any hips or curves in that area however I did find that because the pattern was made for taller women I did have to I had to make several adjustments in areas where I feel like I would not have made, made if the pattern was designed for somebody of my height, but that is understandable because the average patterns are made for women who are 5'3 or 5'6. And since I'm only five foot, um, it's completely understandable. So the changes I've had to make, like I said, was to the length of the garment. I also had to move the bust dart down there are side bust darts and i had to move that down about a half an inch the neckline i found that the neckline was gaping on me and again i think that is more to do with the fact that i am short around this area here and so i did have to uh, take in the shoulder seams about five eighths of an inch to fix that gaping issue my garment was already completed basically completed when i found out that there was gaping in the front and so that's why i used that method of bringing that in at the shoulder seams and um tapering it off so i I um, took out five eighths of an inch starting at this point of the shoulder and I graded and tapered. I tapered down to nothing so that I didn't have to change my sleeve. Um, I think in hindsight, I feel like I, if I would have paid more attention to that during the mock-up phase, then it would not have been a problem. But I think the reason why it wasn't really noticeable during the mock-up phase is because I didn't add the facing. And gaping, of course, you can see more pronounced once you uh, put that facing on. And I didn't put the facing on, so that's kind of why it was overlooked. Um, but um, in hindsight, I, I definitely would make sure that I make changes and alterations to that particular point in the pattern, like uh, around the neckline. So that way I won't have that issue in the future. In terms of sizing, so you can select three different sizes for this particular pattern and you can purchase this pattern in PDF format. So you can actually download it or you can print or you can buy a printed version of the pattern as well. The pattern comes in sizes four to 16, 10 to 22, and 18 to 30. So I selected the 10 to 22 size because I felt like that would probably be a pattern that would be closest to my bust size after looking at the measurements. Initially, I selected a size 16, but after looking over the measurements and actually measuring out the pattern the flat pattern i decided that i would go with the size 14 instead because i felt like the size 16 which is supposed to be for my bust measurements was a little bit too it was too much room for ease so i decided to go down to the size 16 and i think um in the future i might even go down to a size 12 just because it's a very loose fitting style. It just depends on your preferences. I wouldn't say that the calculations on this particular pattern is inaccurate. I would just say that it's more based on your personal preference, I think, depending on how loose you want the garment. Because like I said, this is supposed to be a very loose fitting style, as you can see on the models and uh, some of the photos that are online. It's just supposed to be a loose fitting style so the bust area I felt like that size 14 was really spot on 
So in the future, if I were to go down a size, it would probably be in the waist and the hips, but not so much in the bust. For the arms, I also chose that size 14 and I was very surprised to know that that actually fit my bust measurements without having to do any, not bust, sorry, it fit my bicep measurements without having to do any bicep adjustments. So I'm really pleased about that. And that size 14 for my for my biceps is perfect. It has the right amount of ease in everything. This is a beautiful pattern, beautiful silhouette. Uh, I forgot to talk about the V-neck. It has a V-neck line, which is really cool. And I really love V-neck lines. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. I didn't really have any issues with this pattern. The only issue I had, like I said, was the gaping, but I truly believe that that gaping is because of my size and my body type. I don't think it's a an issue with the pattern. In terms of purchasing it, it is an Australian pattern. And so when you go over to the site, you'll see that it, uh, you'll see the Australian dollars amount, but it does have a conversion on the site to tell you how much you will be paying for it. But in um, Australian dollars, you'll be paying $20 for a copy of it. But in American dollars, that would be $14.43. So um, that's how much the pattern costs. And I'll leave a link to the website below and you could go over and check out the pixie dress so thank you so much for tuning in today and watching the review of the pixie dress all right everyone so that does it for today's video thank you so much for tuning in and stopping by if you enjoyed this review and the content of this channel make sure that you give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and click that notification bell so you can receive notifications of all my videos when i post them i hope you all have a happy wednesday and a happy sewing week bye